stuff that uh, I have been um, applying and learning and things that have been working for me. Um, so the first thing I want to say that I've been learning or that I learned from Flossie was the uh, FU letter and the command letter. So I had tried this FU letter before, right? The FU letter I actually got told by my therapist to do as well, but I just, the FU letter didn't really do much, right? But then when she says, do the FU letter, get your resistance out and then do a command letter. Um, I tried that and it actually fucking works, you guys. It's worked with a lot of things, but I'm just gonna say right now, it works for everything because there's some more stuff that I've been implementing. Um, but try the FU letter, like literally, do it and say like to whoever like your sp or money fuck you money fuck you money for not being there when i needed you to be there fuck you for leaving my bank account every time that i've gotten you fuck you for blah blah blah, blah all this stuff and then command it i command you to come to me in large quantities i command you to come to me right now i command like say it with like conviction and like like you're a fucking boss right and then I found out, this is even better, that you can write a FU letter and a command letter to yourself. But the thing is, I don't do a letter. I fucking either just say it out loud or I record myself saying it, like I'm saying it to myself. And then I delete it. And you can do that, like you can record it to your SP and then delete it or whatever. But I've been recording it or I'll say it out loud and I'll be like... You know, if I, especially if I'm, like, dealing with spiraling or resistance or any type of shit, I'll just start being like, you know what, fuck you. Fuck you for not allowing me to have this. Fuck you for, you know, giving me resistance. Fuck you for making this hard for me. Fuck you for not believing that you're a master at manifesting. Fuck you for not believing in yourself. And I really go off on myself, and I'm like, damn, okay. And then... I will command myself. I command you to have a perfect mental diet. I command you to make this easy for yourself. I command you. And I think this is where the fucking power is, dude. Not really commanding other people to do stuff. Like, that has worked for most things. I'm going to say it worked for all things. But I think that's where the power is, is commanding yourself. Like, getting the resistance out and then commanding yourself to do it because... Ever since I've done that, commanding myself to make it easy for myself, things actually started getting easier. My mental diet was hard for me before, and now it's fucking easy. So, and when I start spiraling again, I'll do it again. If I start slipping and I go off the wagon, I'll fucking do it again. I'll say, fuck you, fuck you for going back to that place of not being successful. Fuck you, blah, 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 blah. I command you to be successful. I command you to make it easy for yourself. I command you to stop slipping. And it fucking works, you guys. And um, I was watching another video by Emily. She's new on Create Your Future. I just watched it because I was bored. And I don't know, something about her kind of draws me in a little bit. But um, she said something about you can drop the old story at any time. And she also talks about how um, she talks about how we hold on to stories and, and we have to figure out why we're holding on to that story so hard. And when I had commanded myself to do, do my mental diet perfect and stuff and to make it easy for myself, it was like there was like a person in my fucking head like the day after I did that. It was the weirdest shit. It felt like it was like me, but like an angel or like an alien or like, I don't know, my higher self. And it kept saying like, you do realize like this entire world is for you, right? You understand that, right? And it like kept saying, like, for example, I looked in my rear view mirror because there was a cop and I looked to see if the cop was going to pull me over. And this thing that was in my head was like, we don't do that anymore. We don't look behind us. Why would we do that? 
we don't get pulled over by cops. That's not who we are. Like, it was weird. Like, I think it was my higher self. Like, it was forcing me and talking to me like I, like it was my mom or something. Like, it was wild, you guys. So, um, and then... <laughs> I'm sure that, like, a lot of you see me complaining on fucking, on other coaches shit, because I'm always like, why isn't it working, I've been doing this for years, blah, 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 and then when I watch Emily shit, dude, and she said, you can drop the story at any time, I dropped it, I was like, why am I holding on to this, why do I believe that I'm not good enough, why do I believe all this stuff, you know? just started asking myself questions like I asked myself a lot of questions and I really talked myself through it and I would do breath work I would breathe into it and I'd let it go I'd ask myself why are you holding on to this you can let this go and then I'd answer it I'd be like I'm holding on to this because this happened in the past and then I would answer myself again and be like I understand that you're holding on to this because it's happened to you before but this belief isn't serving you anymore and you need to let it go and I would breathe into it and I would let it go and I would just keep asking myself questions what did it what is it about this girl that I'm believing is better than me what is it about this girl that makes me believe that I'm not chosen what does she have that I don't have and then I would challenge myself to be like you know what you have a lot to offer too and I'd really start digging with all the stuff that I have to offer about myself and before it was hard for me to even do that like and then I'd start saying why I deserve these things. Why do I deserve this? And then this actually worked too. Because I was moving out of my um, apartment. Which I don't think I even told you guys how I manifested that. But I did manifest an apartment. And it was like everything that I wanted. But I moved out of my apartment. And they were trying to take money from me. Um, they told me I had to be out by... October 15th, which I already paid the whole month of October, and they were saying they were going to keep my deposit because I was going to um, get out of my lease a month early, and they told me I had to clean the whole place, which when I moved in, the place was not cleaned at all, so I had to clean the place before I moved in and when I moved out, and they were going to take my deposit, and they were going to keep my whole month of October and I, so I started thinking, I was like, you know, it fucking sucks that people take advantage of me. And I was just kind of started spiraling down this road. And I was like, wait a minute. No, 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 no. We're doing it again. I said, we're doing it again. Why are we telling these stories? Why? Why do we keep telling these stories that aren't in our favor? So I went and I meditated and I closed my eyes and I just started breathing. And I said, they have no free will. They have to give me my deposit back they're going to give me my prorated amount like I just kept saying and then I told myself why I deserve it why do I deserve this money and I started naming off stuff because I haven't even been living at my apartment really I've only been there two weeks I was really quiet I never brought my dogs over when I did I cleaned up their mess I didn't stay up late I didn't party I followed all the rules I was clean you know, I really, really, really just said, you deserve this money. These people are here for you. Because that voice in my head, too, like I said, the one that was like an alien or an angel was like, this world is for you. Like, if you want it, it's for you. Don't feel bad about it, you know? So, um, so I did that. I meditated, told myself why I deserve it. And sure enough, you guys, like literally right after I did the meditation, they texted me and they were like, um, they're like, yeah, we will prorate the October for you. And I told them that they could keep the deposit because that's understandable. Like I'm moving a month early, but they said that they would prorate my October for me. So I get $600 back and, and I got to get out early. So that was nice. Because I didn't think they were going to let me out of my lease early. And I would have had to pay $1,200 for another month of rent. And I'm not even like staying there. So I think I'm still going to work on um, getting my deposit back. Because I know they love me. And of course they want to give me my deposit back. They know I didn't stay there for very long. 
and they just know it's the right thing to do because I'm a good person and and after everything I've done for them and helped them so much and how clean the house was they want to give me my deposit back so um, but then I also realized something too is the reason why we don't have a lot of our stuff is because we're so impatient and this isn't like it with everything, but some things for me, I know I am not patient at all. Like I'll affirm or I'll like say I want something, I'll command it. And then if I don't see it that day or in the time frame that I think is expected, then I jump right back into the reality where this isn't working. Maybe God doesn't want this for me. And then I realize when I say that, maybe God doesn't want this for me. I'm putting my power outside of myself, saying there's something outside of myself that doesn't want something for me. Maybe this just isn't meant to be. Maybe I'm supposed to be, like, doing this or with this person or, you know what I mean? So, I noticed how much I was actually freaking doing that. And, yeah gotta stop doing that and I know it's hard sometimes because your mind is like going crazy and it's hard to um keep your thoughts in line and stuff especially if you're eating sugar if you're drinking alcohol if you're whatever so I would recommend not eating sugar not drinking alcohol but most of all I want to say breathe like seriously breathe fucking breathe and talk to yourself about it because that's what I was doing too is the so what is it somatic I think it's is it somatic therapy I was doing somatic therapy and uh I don't know why I'm blinking so much lately my eyes like hurt but um I was doing somatic therapy or I can't remember if that's what it's called but you really do you talk to yourself and you talk to your subconscious and you ask questions and you dig deep and then you let those fucking things go you allow yourself to let them go you talk to yourself like a little kid or you would a little kid and say i understand why you feel scared to let this belief go you're you've been protecting us thank you for protecting us but it's time to let this belief go and you breathe into it and you let it go so like dylan says and everybody says like you have to regulate your nervous system because that's your feeling state. And if your feeling state is stressed or worried or expecting the next ball to drop, then that's what's going to happen. So if you're in a calm, neutral state, your thoughts aren't going to be all crazy. You're going to have a much easier time to just like, your thoughts are going to be easier to manage. Like you'll hear them and you can just change them like like it's easy but if you're like in a bad mind state because you're worried about something then you really need to focus on your breath work like for real you or talking to yourself take time to go talk to yourself if you need to go to the bathroom for five minutes go talk to yourself and be like what's going on why are we feeling this way and then see what happens and it kim talks about this too and it's like command yourself to fucking have a perfect mental diet see what happens you guys like it just all kind of happened and i'm on day two now i challenged all my friends on day one to i have like four friends <laughs> but i challenged all of them and i said okay today's challenge is to talk in our favor and to um gosh i have had zero sleep so forgive me but our challenge today is to only talk in our favor and to say only things that we want to experience. And even if it's not even believable, not even believable, like, you know, like, oh, I'm so happy there's, there's world peace. Like, it's so great. There's world peace. And, you know, uh, I was worried about. Um, my boyfriend wanting to have sex with me and I was like, you know, there's no way that he would not want to have sex with me. There's just no way. But still, I said it anyways. I was like, he doesn't even want to have sex with me, blah, blah, blah. And we have to stop putting the beliefs in our head that we have to affirm like a madman. Because that manifests too. I'll have to, you know, 
I have to affirm like X amount of days and this many times and I have to reprogram my brain because like think about it if you're saying that too like then what are you creating you're creating that experience for yourself and that's another thing I only said too these are just experiences and you can just say that too I experienced this I experienced being not chosen that's great cool I'm letting that go I'm ready to experience being chosen like you can just say that too <clears throat> it really is kind of like having a mental diet really you just you really don't need to affirm like you just really need to focus on what you're saying to yourself and focus on your feeling state and I know they say like oh you don't have to worry about that you can just affirm and persist through it and that's fine too you can do that too it doesn't really matter like I've been affirming I don't know I think it's been almost two weeks that I've been affirming for this one thing and I just if I don't see it you guys I get fucking like I just give up <laughs> if I'm affirming it but it's easier for me to just be like delusional and like say stuff you know and it still manifests it still manifests <sighs> this one thing that I'm um, doing right now this, it's the same fucking it's the same fucking manifestation I've been struggling with and why I fucking comment on pages like it's not working it's hard and but I'm not gonna say that anymore it is easy it's the easiest manifestation I ever had I command myself to give it to myself even if I don't see it I'm just gonna keep commanding myself but I get so frustrated because I want movement now I see nothing you know what I mean and then I say that I see nothing and I see more of nothing but it's hard to not get in that like trap you know what I mean the spiral trap so but yeah try the F U letter and command letter or just try saying it out loud to yourself or try it with other people because I have had it with other people too I've done it with my friend she's an alcoholic and I commanded it commanded it to be easy for her to quit drinking and she did and one of my friends I commanded her to stop hanging out with this person that was toxic for her and she did and I commanded somebody oh my aunt I commanded <coughs> I commanded my aunt to start being healthy and stop relying on people and she did so she's starting to be healthier and she's like I realize that I don't have to rely on myself only because I can't rely on other people and so it's like it does fucking work it works pretty fast too especially if you just kind of let it go and like don't worry about it it works within days but I don't know. I gotta not say stuff about my other manifestation because I know that that's why it's like not showing up and taking forever because I keep fucking saying dumb shit like, oh my god, it's so hard. Why isn't this happening? Is it working? Am I doing this wrong? I gotta stop saying that shit. I realized how much I actually have been saying that shit, so. And don't worry if like you're fucking like me and just struggle sometimes dude I don't give a fuck who you are there's people out here telling me oh like you know they act like they got it all figured out or no <clears throat> people can say that they don't struggle with manifestation or that that's not true everybody would have what the fuck they wanted if they didn't struggle sometimes so yeah don't beat yourself up if you're struggling it's all good just try for one day to do your best you don't have to be perfect at it but do your best to only talk in your favor and then the next day start the challenge over and only for that day if you can make it to that if you make it like little bite-sized chunks little baby steps it makes it so much easier and then maybe reward yourself You're like okay if you make it three days where you are only talking in your favor then you get this that and the other you know what i mean all right guys i'll talk to you soon i hope this helps some of you love you bye